Hello everyone. I hope that you can hear me. This is Paulette Miz, Music Jackson, coming your way. It has been a while since I've done an episode of My Perspective. And that is why I'm here today uh, to do another episode and hope everyone is doing well um, and staying healthy <sighs> in this stuff that we're going through right now. And I'm not going to go into all that, but I, I just... I do hope that all of you are doing well. Now, there are a few subjects that I want to, that came to mind over the last few weeks. And I really wanted to do this last week or so. And kind of other things got ahead of that. And I put it on the back burner. I wanted to talk about, first I was going to talk about tap dance, the history of tap dance. Because I had saw a video that came up in my, one of my social media pages, you know, how a memory comes up or whatever on your page, but of the late, great Gregory Hines. And then I want to talk about that and then the Williams brothers and all that. I want to talk about that and I probably will. I'll bring that back, um, subject back um, at some point. Then I want to talk about integrity because I saw something, some post or whatever again on social media. Um, regarding that in my own personal experiences around the meaning of that what is supposed you know what what the definition is around that and all that and just life you know how people do or do not have it you know um, how they communicate and and so on and so forth the business and whether it's business or personal but then I said, okay, there's another subject that I want to touch upon, and that's acceptance. So that's what I'm going to talk about today on, on this episode of My Perspective. I think <clears throat> all of us, whether we choose to admit it to ourselves or not, from young age to ch child age to adulthood, that on some level, we all want to be accepted, right? Um by family, by people that we hold close to us and call friends. Uh, me personally, I, as I gotten, have gotten older, I don't use that word with everyone. I don't. And, but when I do, and I feel like you're a friend, that's what you are. And I, and I pray that's what I am to you. And I, and I try to, to showcase that and show that my love and respect for my friends and support. Even with my own life stuff going on, with business stuff going on, you know, personal, all kind of stuff. You know, I still try to be and I hope to be as supportive and loving and an ear for my friends and family. Now, again, with accept the word acceptance, we try to be accepting in, or we, we want to be accepted in business. We want to be accepted personally and this relationships that we have um, throughout our lives, um, um, whether it be, again, family or business or personal one-on-one -on -one relationships, you know what I mean? So all of that, I think we, we want to be accepted. We want our ideals to be accepted. We want um, our creative things that we do to be accepting and I'm speaking more to our us creatives um, in, in, in arts and in entertainment of course we want our works to be accepted by people you know to be to be um, showcased and the word getting out and more and more people knowing about and accepting what we do right um, hope that's making sense to everyone but I think above all of that I know above all of that, what's truly important is that we accept ourselves for who we are. And if not, the things that you, you're, not, you're, not, you're not sure about, you don't really like, maybe keeps you up at night thinking about it, are those things that you can control? Are those things that we have the power to change? And if so, are we doing that so that we can accept ourselves and get to that level? To get to that point where we accept and like 
and love ourselves and what we do, what we're about, what we say we're about, what we put out to the world that we're about, right? I know at one point in my life, it was very important for me to be accepted by everybody. You know, I just wanted to be liked and accepted and all that. And I, I don't think I'm alone in that. Again, it, we can, it, some people just won't admit it to themselves, but I do. But as time has progressed and I've gotten older, what's become more important to me is that I accept myself. And that the things that I don't like, I change. And I'm not just talking about physical appearances. I'm talking about mindset. I'm talking about spirit. Um, I'm talking about conversation. Um, you know, I'm talking about all of that. What makes you you or makes me me, whatever. But if we have the power to do that and to be happier and to be freer and to be more at peace with ourselves, then that's, that's the beginning to me. That's the beginning of it. That's a step in the right positive direction to be okay, more than okay with yourself, be it accepting of yourself. Because if you don't accept who you are, if we don't accept who we are, if we don't accept how we look and we don't do the things to change the things that we don't like, if we don't take those steps to make ourselves better, and accepting of ourselves and our whatever higher power or being that we believe in, if we don't, if we're not, if we don't feel like we're going to be accepted in that manner, then all the rest of it kind of goes out the window, I think. Because if you don't care for yourself, you don't accept yourself, you don't like yourself, you don't love yourself, then no one else will either. If you don't see the value, if we don't see the value in ourselves, and bring forth things that we've been kind of suppressing, worrying about what other people think or say or do about our lives, then everything else is pretty much meaningless. It's like, what's, what's the point of, of expressing the discontentment if we're not going to do anything within our control to change it? We have to accept ourselves first before we can uh, have the acceptance of everyone else. But really, how important at this stage of your life, watching right now, at this stage in your life, how really important is it now to be accepted in different areas of your life? How important is that, is that to you? Ask yourselves that question. Write it down. You know, have conversations with your friends and family about that. How important is it now in today's life? Is it, it, is it to all of us to really be accepted by a, a group of people or a business or an entity or whatever? Whatever it is. It's more important. Is it more important to be accepted on social media? Is it more important to be uh, to have all these likes and loves? Is it more important than having your own inner um, strength, your own inner acceptance of yourself and who you are and who you want to be, who you're developing to be? Um, some people know who they are. They're confident about who they are early on in life. Some people may find out later. Sometimes you have to clear out the clutter. And when I say clutter, I don't mean physical clutter. I mean that too, though, that too. I'm talking about the clutter in your mind. I'm talking about the clutter in your spirit. I'm talking about the clutter in your surroundings because everybody's not for you. Everybody's not going to be with you. Everybody's not going to support you in whatever it is that you choose to do. How important really is it to be accept uh, other people accept you if you don't accept yourself, if you don't believe what you say, if you don't believe what you do? Or believe in what you say or do and want to do and want to say. I, 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 hope, I hope and pray that I'm making sense. 
And I'm going to be posting this everywhere on my social media feeds and on my YouTube page. You guys, please, please feel free to reach out to me and make comments um, regarding this video. But acceptance, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, on some level, still want to be accepted. Of course, you want your works to be accepted. It's, it's, it, of course, you want your genuine self to be accepted. I know I do, my genuine self, to those who genuinely want to see me win, genuinely want to see me grow, genuinely want to see me happy and find peace for myself, to be in a space to create, want to see all that for me. Yeah, those are the people I want to be accepted, but who I really want to be accepted, me personally, talk about anybody else, is the Lord above. And that came to me late in life. Didn't understand it. And I'm still learning, still growing. I'm not, I'm not, please don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I know everything there is to know. But all I know is that the things that I've been through, the things that I've experienced for myself, looking at myself and just experience different life stuff, business stuff, was more important that I accept myself, that I like myself, love myself, and to continue to grow and strengthen and not get sidetracked by all the crap. Being blunt, and I want to say something else. By all the crap, and there's so much, <laughs> so much crap, so much crap. Sometimes we give ourselves crap, you know, unnecessarily. It all has to do with acceptance. Accept yourself first. Accept ourselves first. Then, if you still want to be accepted by others, okay. Okay. But don't let that be the, the be all, you know? Don't let that consume you is what I'm trying to say. Be trying to be accepted by everybody. It's not going, it's not working. And, and really, to be honest, what does that really mean, being accepted by everybody? What, what is it that they're really accepting? Your work, your business, your... Um, your words, your, your per I mean, your whole personality, what are they accepting about you? Those who really care for you, pray for you, cry with you, vent with you, laugh with you, those are the people that you want to accept you. And that you accept into your space, into your world. Are you accepting of people? where they are. Some people you can't, all of them you can't, you know, and I get that too. But are you accepting, are we accepting of certain things and situations and people? Does it make our worlds better or not so much? So, number one, accept who you are. And if you have the power and control to change what you don't like, what you don't accept, change it. Don't wait till the new year. Do it now. Do it now. I'm still a work in progress. And I gladly do that to get better, to get stronger. And it's a struggle sometimes, you know, it's a struggle. But I have to accept myself, continue to accept who I am and know that I in all of it, I mean no malice or, or um, ill will towards anyone. I'm just trying to live. I'm just trying to create. I'm just trying to love. I'm just trying to be loved, liked. But it's not consuming me. Let's make that clear. It's not consuming me. What motivates me is to continue to pray. Those who pray for me, that genuinely respect me, in what I do and for the person that I try to be, period. That's what motivates me. That's what keeps me going in prayer every day. And believe me, sometimes it's hard. It's hard. I'm not gonna lie about that. I'm not trying to make it sound easy because it's not, it's not. But you have to start somewhere. I had to start somewhere. 
And I, I tell you, with even with the, with life struggles and all that, I'm still in a better place than I was five, six, seven, eight, maybe eight, seven, eight years ago. And still, and still going, still going, still going, still going, even with the setbacks, even with the drawbacks, even with the whatever stuff, you know, even with all of that, I have some wonderful people that are truly in my corner and want to see me win and talk to me, consult me, counsel me, you know, um, and I, and I pray I do the same for them. You know, I want to be that person for my friends and my, my business associates as well, you know, um, yeah, but acceptance of oneself is more important than, it, than being accepted from the outside world. So I hope that I hope that that makes sense to everybody, and I hope that you take take it in, um, watch the video two or three times if you have to, discuss it, have a discussion about it with your friends and family. Um, I think it's a good discussion, and it's something that I want to bring to the forefront today. And all the subjects that I was talking about that I wanted to talk about today on my perspective, I, I decided to do that one because, um, yeah, I want to be accepted, but unless we accept ourselves, n n none of the other stuff matters. Until you accept yourself and change the things that you don't like and be better and be stronger at whatever it is you do in life too, nothing else matters. It's good to have people in your corner. It's good to have people, friends. Oh, absolutely. I do. And I'm blessed in that respect. Um, people come and go. You know, people come and go. And it's been a hard lesson. But it's a lesson that I'm learning. And it's hurtful. It's painful. It's all that. But I got to, you know, you got to keep, I got to keep, you got to keep pushing forward. No matter what. Acceptance. What does that mean to you? Acceptance of ourselves. All right, everyone. Uh, I am Paulette Miz Music Jackson. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my perspective again. I apologize. It's been a long time since I've done it. I've just been so bogged down with other stuff. So I apologize for that. But I am back. And it probably be, I will do another one sooner. <laughs> Then I have this one, but uh, I'll be back to talk about a couple of subjects uh, very soon. Um, working on a couple of things right now that are great and positive. So um, I'm focusing on that. Uh, and of course, just uh, um, me time as well. And that's important too, to have me time. Um, yeah, you get work, you have business to have all that, but it's, it's important to have you time to just kind of reflect and pray and meditate and all that self-reflection. Absolutely. All right, everyone, I'm not going to keep you. Again, thank you so much. This is my perspective with your girl, Paulette Miz Music Jackson. I will be talking to all of you again very, very soon. Have a great, great, great Sunday evening. <laughs>